Welcome to another very exciting educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate that. And please remember, if you really like my videos, you like the information, maybe you use the information and you enjoy the work I do in the videos and teaching screen printing free online on YouTube, please remember to subscribe. It helps keep these videos coming right at you for free. And not only that, it makes kittens happy. And it makes me happy. So please subscribe right now. All right, seriously though, it does make kittens happy. But today's video is, this is an experimental video. I thought this would be really cool to demonstrate to you how dynamic, how universal screen printing is. Um, screen printing is, I think, to me, the single most universal method of printing any substrate in the world, known to man even, could be said. Because screen printing can do so many different things in so many different ways. And uh, I don't think that could be said of any other printing method. So today is an example of that. And I just wanted to show you this really cool uh, kind of ghetto, backyard, very manual technique of printing cylindrical items like glasses, cups, mugs, or perhaps little bottles. Okay, today what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to demonstrate this method, but I'm not using the correct ink, okay, because I don't, I don't do this. I want to make it clear. This is not something that I do. Um, I don't print bottles. I don't print glass. I'm a textile guy. I'm a t-shirt guy. Okay, but what I'm showing you today is how dynamic screen printing is and uh, show you that the possibilities of even using one screen to do so many different things with the way you set it up. Okay, so today I'm showing you this really simple old school technique of just using a screen and squeegee to put a print on this cylindrical object and it could be any kind of cylindrical object. It could be glass, it could be a mug, a cup, a tin can, a plastic bottle, whatever it is that's cylindrical that you can get to, to do what we're going to do right now, what I'm going to show you. But the critical factor is going to be using the correct ink for the substrate. Okay, that's why I'm trying to point out today, I'm not using the correct ink. I'm just showing you the principle. And I'm using plastisol ink so I could wipe it off, okay, because I'm not really printing these. I'm just showing you how it works and, you know, this process, this cool little experimentation about how to print a cylindrical bottle, cup, or mug using a squeegee, the appropriate ink, and your screen. Remember, I don't do this. This is an experimental type thing. I've seen this process done, and uh, you can actually see... Uh, videos, other videos about other people doing this kind of role here, okay? But what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to take a screen and, you know, I'm just winging it today. You can see that. I, I'm just rolling with this, having a little fun, okay? And I have a little skull and bones over here. And again, remember, I'm not using the correct ink. This is for demonstrative purposes only. I'm just showing you the process. Uh, if you were to try to do this, which you could very easily, all you have to do is make sure that the ink is appropriate for your substrate, for the item that you're printing. So if you're printing glass, you're going to use an enamel ink. If you're printing a plastic bottle, you've got to use a plastic ink, okay? So, but here it is, little stencil, and I just basically pull some, you know, flood it a little bit. All right, and I'm going to, whoops, sorry. I'm going to check to see that there's a little bit of ink coming through. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry about, uh, you know, I'm just rolling with it here, okay? So let's see if we can do this, right? And we'll do a close-up of how this works, too. But basically, I'm going to put this skull and bones, hopefully, onto this bottle, simply by doing this. And there it is. And I'll show you, it, it's not the greatest print because it's plastisol, but when you have the right ink in here, it will look really cool. Let's see, hold on. Let's see if you can see that. So with the Plastisol ink, it's kind of, uh, you know, the, the surface of the ink, the print, is not what it should be. But if you used a plastic ink, a, you know, ink that's appropriate for this bottle, it will obviously print a lot better. 
Okay, I'm just showing you the principle there though. Isn't that cool? I mean, you see what I'm saying? Screen printing is just so cool. It's, look at that, nothing more than a squeegee and a screen, and I could print glasses or mugs. All I have to do is get the correct ink. Okay, and obviously with an ink that air dries, this would be kind of um, a little bit of a challenge to, you know, hustle and keep it moving, I think. All right, so let me show you a close up. Basically, I'm just rolling the bottle across this design after I flood the stencil with a little bit of ink. And you could experiment, you know, obviously you would tweak your process with varying amounts of pressure and whatnot and speeds, but I think, you know, you want to be consistent. Like this print, I just put a little pressure on it, and I do believe it looks better than the other one. So I used a little pressure, and the Plastisol print actually, it's a very heavy deposit of ink. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it looks a little bit better than the other one. So varying degrees of pressure or speed and blah, 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 you know, but it's very cool. Very cool. Um, physical property of the screen printing process. Screen printing is an exciting, dynamic, and very capable process. And I think this is one of the reasons why screen printing will be around for a long time. Many people ask me, isn't screen printing dead with all the new digital technologies and direct to garment? And I don't think so. And I think it will be a long, long time before the manual local production of screen printing uh, or screen printed goods is uh, reduced to digital methods because remember that small shops don't have as much capital to buy equipment. So until the digital process and the digital equipment becomes affordable for even very, very small startup shops to buy, screen printing, I think, will dominate the local uh, market for screen printed goods in our communities because you know we always have these small printers that are people like you and me who are starting up screen printing and we do it by hand a lot of the stuff we do by hand so I think that you know it's so cool I hope you guys enjoyed this video today I had a lot of fun making it please remember if you enjoy my videos rate thumbs up comment below if you can and subscribe it's very important and if you need screen printing equipment or supplies please remember to visit catspitscreenprintsupply.com and check out all of my offerings there. I appreciate your support in any way. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.